This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this lesson we'll be going over how to use markers in Inkscape. Now markers are useful because they allow you to take a single object and repeat it along a path without deforming the object. In previous lessons we went over how to use pattern along path, which is really useful for creating unique designs and patterns, but the downside of using this tool is that it deforms the object as it flows along the path here, and there's no way to turn this feature off. So in order to get this result right here, we need to use markers. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to do this. So here we are in a new document. The first thing I'm going to do is create the path that I'd like the object to flow along. Now you can use virtually any path that you'd like. For this demonstration, I'm just going to use a simple circle. So I'm going to grab the circles and ellipses tool. I'm going to click and drag and hold control to create a nice round circle with the aspect ratio locked like that. And the way markers work in Inkscape is everywhere that there's a node, a marker will be placed. So what I want to do first here is convert this circle to a path. Let me go to Path, Object to Path, and then I'll go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. And as you can see here, we have nodes here in these four quadrants of this shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an object and I'm going to convert it to a marker and I'm going to apply the marker to this path so that there's going to be the object at each of these four points right here. So let me actually go ahead and create the object now. Now the object that I'm going to use for a marker is just a simple star. I'm going to grab the stars tool and I'm going to draw a star like that. Now you can use whatever shape you'd like. You can use a logo, you can use an icon, you can use text. Any vector object you'd like can be used as a marker. So let me turn this blue just so we have some differentiation here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this object to a marker. Now before you convert your object to a marker, if you'd like to keep a copy of this shape on hand, I would recommend creating a duplicate copy of it because once we convert this to a marker, the shape is going to disappear off of the canvas. So let's say you want to keep this shape. I'm going to right-click this and go to Duplicate. And I'm going to take this duplicate copy and then I'll go to Object and I will select Objects to Marker. And now it's going to disappear off the canvas like that. So let me grab this shape right here. I'm going to apply the marker to this shape. Let me open up the Fill and Stroke menu, which is located over here. Or you could press Control, Shift, and F on the keyboard. And I'm going to remove the Fill and Stroke fill from here. So let me click this red X down here to get rid of the fill. We don't want any fill or any stroke on here. We want to leave this as an invisible shape. And then what I will do is I'll come over here to the Stroke Style tab. Now if you notice, we have these three input boxes right here where it says Markers. Now the way this works is the ones in the front, the first one and the last one, or the first and the third, this represents the start point of the path, and this represents the end point of the path, and this represents all of the nodes in the middle of the path that go along the path. So to demonstrate how this works, let me grab, let me click this drop down right here, and I'm going to grab this star and apply that as the start node. I'm going to grab this end one and I'm going to apply this star as the end node. There's nothing visibly changing on my screen here because I'm using a closed path. If you're using a linear path like a straight line, you should see a star at the, at the front and at the back of the path like that. And then I'll apply this one to all of the nodes in the middle like that. And as you can see here, we now have this object going along the path. Now if we want to add more objects in here, we could just add, new, we could just add more nodes. So let me come over here to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. I'm going to click and drag over all of the nodes to select them like that. And I'm going to click this button over here that says Insert New Nodes into Selected Segments. And as I insert new nodes like that, it's going to insert more of the object, as you can see here. Now, if at any point you want to alter this, you could just click on one of these nodes and you can move it around like that, as you can see here. Now, let me go ahead and undo that because that's not the result I was going for. Now let's say you want to alter these markers further. You want to make them bigger or smaller or maybe even rotate them. To do that, what you could do is, let me first go back to the selection tool. If you click on one of these drop downs over here where the markers are, we have this new revamped menu as of Inkscape version 1.2 uh, with all of these neat little options that we can edit. If you click on the button that says Edit on Canvas, you're going to get these transformation handles. Now let me zoom in on this by holding Control and rolling up the mouse wheel. How this works is the transformation handles that are squares allow you to distort and scale the object like that. So I can control the width, the height, and I can just scale it down by holding control if you want to lock, lock the proportions like that. You can make it bigger or smaller as you can see there. Now if you want to rotate the object, all you have to do is click on this round node right here and it'll allow you to rotate the object like that. Pretty simple. And if at any point you want to get back to this, let's say you deselect it and you get out of here, if at any point you want to get back to editing that, all you have to do is select the object 
and then come over here and click the drop down and click on edit on canvas and you can edit that again like that okay so i think that should do it for this lesson actually no there's one more thing i want to mention about this feature whenever you have markers on a path they behave sort of like a stroke so over here this button right here that says when scaling objects scale the stroke width by the same proportion if this if this option is disabled as it is on my screen that means as you scale this object down the stars are going to say are going to stay the same shape so marker that you have applied will remain the same shape regardless of how big or small you make the path that it's placed along if you'd like the markers to scale alongside the object all you have to do is enable this setting right here and now it'll scale with it like that without changing its size so I think that should do it for this lesson. That is how you can go about using markers in Inkscape to repeat an object along a path without deforming it. If you found this lesson useful, then maybe consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work, kind of like how I just did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. I'll have some information about that in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.